So I think you're curious of what are the benefits of doing sub to sub. I think you've read the title. I think you've seen the thumbnail. For today, I will tell you what are the benefits of doing sub to sub. If my benefits ba? I think wala. But I think meron. At the back of my mind, I think meron siyang benefits. Pero yun din, yung isang side ng utak ko sinasabi wala. Wala siyang benefits. But I think, but I think meron. Meron ba? I think I don't, I don't, I don't. Just, just roll the intro. So what's up everyone? It's your boy again, Jay Flores. And for today's epito episode, and for today's episode, I will tell you if meron ba talagang benefits of doing sub to sub. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Go subscribe. Thank you. So my benefits ba talaga if you're gonna do sub to sub? For me, based on my experience, I'm gonna give an example later on. I'm gonna show you my analytics sa isang channel ko. So just to answer the question, if meron ba talagang benefits ang sub to sub, is wala. Wala siyang benefits. There's a lot of disadvantages. I can mention a lot. Like first, they're not loyal. Hindi sila loyal subscriber mo. They just subscribe to you kasi nag-subscribe ka sa kanila. Second is they're fake. Third is, you're gonna get monetized eventually, pero walang pera na mating sa'yo, or walang pera na darating sa'yo. Again, I will show you my analytics later sa isang channel ko, because this is based on my experience, ha? I've really experienced this. And then, the next reason of doing sub to sub is I think your CTR is gonna crash, and it will result to you having videos na wala naman talagang nanonood. Kasi it makes sense, eh, because you have a lot of subscribers from sub to sub. Pero yun nga, it will pop up on their page, pero they won't click, so your CTR won't climb, and then YouTube won't promote your videos anymore. Does that make sense? I think it does. Let's just hop into the computer, and then I'll show you an example, my example, of why you should not do sub to sub. Okay, let's go. So now we're back here sa computer. This is my other channel, yung cooking tutorial or cooking channel ko, which is J Flores Cooks. And here, as you can see, for the last 28 days, one dollar lang yung revenue ko, and I have over 1,900 subscribers, and maybe 80% of that is just sub to sub. So here, you can see, this is my top one, and this one just went viral talaga. This has over 25,000 views, I think. Pero the rest are just, I don't know, and maybe the top two is is somewhat organic. The rest is just for sub to sub. So here, let's just go to the last, let's say, lifetime na lang para makita nyo. So here, I did not upload anything because I was not active at that time. February 26, I think I started first and then boom, nag spike here. Nakita nyo yan. That's all from sub to sub. That 3,841 is the highest. I think in a single day, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, in a single day. So that's probably why you should not do sub to sub because you can see it here. I stopped doing sub to sub around here, May or June. Huminto na ako mag sub to sub and then look at the results. Just gladly, meron pang nanonood dito. Pero here, wala na talaga. This was June last year, ha? And then now we're March of 2021. And then just look look at the numbers. It's just so sad kung kumbaga. Nakikita nyo to. It has 25,000 views and then this one I think also is good but the rest are just sub to sub Facebook boosts and whatever promotion I could find the internet just to promote the video but not organically total of a year that's just what I've garnered this video is really actually good because every day it's pa rin siya sa search especially this top one how to make eggs which is I don't know mas gabi yung effort ko sa ibang videos compared to this because this one just popped and then boom and reach look at that just spiked and then just flat here look at that Voila. they're not promoting my videos anymore because yun nga they're realizing na fake na fake tong audience na to external lifetime is 67 percent this is from the facebook groups na sub to sub so that sucks big time and then here oh look at that facebook and then the rest is just i don't know i don't have to explain that i think you get the point of why you should not do sub to sub and here again it's just i was booming and then flat like from november let's say from september or even august from september or August last year until now, wala na. Flat na flat na talaga. And I have over 2,000 or running 2,000 subscribers. Ah. And if these subscribers were loyal, malaki ng pera ko ngayon. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. And I hope this serves as an example to you guys na wag na wag kayong magsasub to sub. Okay? Pero if yun nga, if you're interested in cooking, consider subscribing to this channel, J Flores Cooks. Alright, balik tayo dun sa camera. 
that is it for today. I hope may natutunan kayo from me, from my experience, real life story, kumbaga. Pero yeah, I advise you if you're struggling with your videos, just keep on pushing. You know, be more creative, be unique, and then eventually, it, it takes time naman talaga for you to be discovered in this platform. So just be patient, be consistent, and do everything that you can except for doing sub to sub, okay? Because you, you've seen it, man. I mean, the analytics can just explain itself kung bakit ka hindi dapat nagsasub to sub, okay? So, that is it for today. I hope you had fun. I hope you're gonna subscribe and see you again on the next video. God bless. Stay safe. Peace.